The gruesome killing of Christina Unoli in New York City this month rattled many women who could imagine themselves in the same situation. Lee was followed home after a night out with friends and stabbed to death in her Chinatown apartment. Asian American women have been on especially high alert with reports of anti-Asian harassment rising in the last two years. It was a wake-up call, said Drifat Rahman, the program coordinator of the South Asian Network's Gender-Based Violence Prevention Unit based in Artesia. Rahman does safety planning with survivors of domestic violence and helps them come out of an unsafe environment. But in the last week, she found herself thinking about how she should advise her clients, family and friends to prepare for situations that are random and unexpected. Those who work with sexual assault and domestic violence survivors, like Ramon and Zhuang Ling Wu, the community services program manager for the Los Angeles-based Center for the Pacific Asian Family, are quick to remind people that the majority of these violent incidents come from someone you know. In most cases, the attacker is not a stranger jumping out of the bushes. But some of the conversations around stranger danger that took hold in the 80s and 90s are coming back, Wu said, with a rise of hate incidents across the nation. A recent study from the Center for Hate and Extremism at Cal State San Bernardino reported that Los Angeles recorded the most hate crimes among large U. S. cities in 2021, a 71% jump in the incidents and the third highest annual total in any U city since the 1970s. There have also recently been more follow-home robberies in Southern California that have turned violent. How do you prepare for the worst, without being constantly terrified? It's like learning how to drive, said Wu. If you fixate on the potholes, you'll hit the potholes. It's more helpful to steer toward a smooth road. Look for where you want to go, so you're not stuck scared, because that's an awful place to be. The Times asked Wu, Rahman, Catherine Young, the executive director of Korean American Family Services, based in Koreatown, Janae Williams, director of Victim and Survivor Services at the National Center for Victims of Crime, Manjusha Kulkarni, executive director of the Asian Pacific Policy and Plani. The simple answer is to get out of that situation as fast as you can, whether that means taking a different route, putting a barrier between you and a potential attacker, or running. The key is to not be alone, said Yum. Call someone who can keep track of where you are. Enter a nearby store or business. Go knock on a neighbor's door instead of going home.